When markets are pinwheeling, it's easy to see why forecasters want to add a qualifying verb to every US interest rate prediction. The Federal Reserve may be on the brink of raising rates for the first time since the financial crisis, which might create disorder in global markets, although the Fed could also choose to be cautious, which should have already been priced into markets. If stresses weighing on markets were limited to a US rate rise, things would be much simpler. But with oil prices still below $40 a barrel and Chinese trade data pointing to weakening growth, disruption is already pooling in the riskiest corners. Emerging markets, which offered generous coupons to investors during years of low rates, have fallen firmly out of favour. Last week, the JP Morgan EM Currencies Index, which measures the strength of developing country currencies against the US dollar, hit a record low. But in a disappointing year for EM, Eastern Europe has been one particular bright spot. Make a list of the problems plaguing emerging markets and you can dismiss almost every single one in Eastern Europe. Low oil prices, Eastern European countries and net energy importers. China slowdown, the region's main trading partner is the Eurozone. And Fed jitters, Europe is still benefiting from the largesse of the European Central Bank. There are domestic points of concern. The recent election in Poland of a party perceived as anti-markets has sent the Warsaw Exchange down and plans to accommodate migrants across the region has met with opposition. The region is also not immune from a general sense of risk aversion right now in markets. Benchmark 10-year bond prices in Poland have fallen this month, widening the gap between Polish and German bond yields. But with central banks still holding sway over markets, it is the region's proximity to a central bank committed to pumping money into the system until at least March 2017 that could prove most important and could save at least one area of EM from suffering the worst effects of a Fed rate rise.